out what's different about them and why then it makes their squat more different. So go ahead, just do five reps of these. I don't even want you to look at their technique and to do anything right or wrong. It's just the difference is between them. That's good. Differences. What, what are some yeah. differences? Man, his hips feel hips. way more back than Billy hips like okay. that. She's got thighs, like double his oh, size. Okay. I mean, those are amazing, <laughs> lady. Her femurs <laughs> are very, very long. Yeah. Okay, she's a oh. long femur individual. She's also got a shorter <laughs> torso. And that's okay, look, everybody's different. As opposed to Billy, whose femurs are pretty short. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the differences are going to be. When Amanda squats, because her feet, her, somebody said her hips go way back, right? And that's because they have to, because her yeah, feet are so right. long. Anthropometrically, that's the way it's going to be. So you're going to see her torso come a little bit more forward, okay? So maybe, you know, if I'm working with her to get stronger, I know the squat's going to be weaker for her than her deadlift. I guarantee I can get you deadlift in a ton of very quickly just because, uh, biomechanically, you'd be able to do that with a short torso and long, long levers in the back here, okay? If I'm trying to get your squat better, I would do some more special strength exercises to get your glutes and hamstrings really strong. That's if you're trying to load you up with a really heavy back squat. All right? uh, for you, you're going to be able to squat really well. You might struggle more with the deadlift. Okay? I bet you could squat way more than you could deadlift if we were going for strength. Just because of the way that your body's set up. Okay? He's got short femurs. You'll notice his torso is very vertical. Her torso was more inclined this way. And that's just the way it's going to be.